which we are holding in Koforidua this afternoon. This afternoon, there are two quick briefs that I have for you. The first is that the government of Ghana will this week formally put the diplomatic community on notice that the former president peddled some falsehoods when he met with them uh, last week, and they need to take note of what those falsehoods are. The second is that on Tuesday, the 19th of February 2019, six assemblies that were recently created will formally be inaugurated. Six assemblies, and I'll outline which assemblies these are. The government of Ghana will this week put the diplomatic community in Ghana on formal notice that former President John Dramani Mahama peddled several falsehoods and sought to undermine the authority of the state in his engagement with them on Wednesday, 13 February 2019. Now, in the said interaction, Mr. Mahama showed them two sets of videos. One, which is a video from a legitimate media house, the content of which is the subject matter of an ongoing presidential commission of inquiry, and a second set of videos, which comprises two videos, which he claimed was evidence of members of an MPP vigilante group at a funeral of the former MP for Ayawaso West Wagon, and earlier, providing security for the MPP parliamentary candidate in that by-election. The government of Ghana will be serving notice to the members of the diplomatic community that, the two, that two of these three videos and the narratives that the former president gave to them on the said videos are palpably false and designed to tarnish Ghana's hard-won reputation in the eyes of the international community. Now, here are the specifics. The first video, which purports to show some security persons singing and dancing at a funeral, which security persons the former president told them were MPP vigilante men in song and dance at the funeral of the former Ayawasu West Wagon MP, the Honorable Chamati Ejaku, and which security persons he claimed were responsible for the Ayawasu West Wagon incident at the residence of the NDC's parliamentary candidate is false. Indeed, that video of policemen uh, singing and dancing is a video of actual policemen who had attended a funeral of a fellow police officer, and it had nothing to do with the late Ejaku's funeral. Secondly, there's also no evidence that the policemen who attended the funeral of their colleagues, as seen in that video, were even involved in either the police operation at Ayawaso West Wagon or the SWAT operation at the residence of the NDC candidate in that by-election. Mr. Mohammed's presentation to the diplomats of that video as evidence of a said MPP vigilante group involved in the Ayawaso West Wagon incidents are therefore